Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Madeline White. The search for two missing Idaho children came to a tragic ending Saturday when officials confirmed the human remains found on Chad Daybell's property belonged to siblings JJ Vallo and Tylee Ryan. Now communities across the gem state are coming together to pay their respects, including right here in Boise. That's where we find Idaho News 6 reporter Steve Dent tonight with more from the vigil. I'm here at a candlelight vigil for JJ and Tylee, and it's clear that the heartbreak as a result of the devastating outcome of this case has been felt far and wide. Organizers in the Boise community who didn't even know each other came together to make this vigil a reality. And although they tell us they feared the worst because the children were missing for so many months, they never suspected this kind of tragedy to happen in Idaho. Even though we kind of already knew the outcome, it is very sad. Um, you know, it's it's crazy to see what's actually happened and what's, you know, kind of came out of this. And it's it's just so devastating, especially to the family. I've been in contact with the family and and they're very heartbroken. Organizers of the vigil live streamed the event to the Vallow's grandparents. They also read a statement from the grandparents and conducted a prayer on their behalf. This is a story we've been following for months and we will continue to follow it as the fight for justice continues for JJ and Tylee. And that was Steve Dent reporting. Multiple vigils held in Rexburg yesterday as well, the community where JJ and Tylee lived. Dozens of Idahoans traveling as far as Pocatello and Idaho Falls to convene outside the Madison County Courthouse to honor JJ and Tylee's lives that were cut short. I think it doesn't matter like where you live, but I think a community can still come together and help each other and support each other and love each other because even though we lived so close to the house, we had no idea what was going on. And so we feel that there are still ways we can be supportive to other people and, and to let the family know that 